Were you gonna move it again? No, I moved it like, oh. you know? Okay, ooh, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one. Oof. It smells good. It smells good. <laughs> yeah, it smells good. It do. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Okay. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so in today's video, we're going to be doing a story time. As you guys know, I am Kelsey Victoria, and I'm here today with Shaimone. <laughs> well, okay, so guys, today we're going to be talking about, well, our story time is going to be about how we started dancing, okay. how we got to start to dance. So sit back, relax, and Enjoy this video. Enjoy this video. We got that right there. We got that right there. This yeah, it's not right here. Mm. Today we are drinking Taylor Taylor Porte. Mmm. Ooh, that was nice. And we are also smoking hookah. I should have showed you guys the flavor that we're smoking. Would that be kind of cute to do? Yeah, could you? But this flavor is blueberry mint. <laughs> so, this is the flavor, bl blueberry with mint flavor, authentic hookah tobacco. So yeah, this is the brand that we're smoking. How long have you been dancing for? Uh, well, I'm trying to get this going. Um, I want to say it was May. In May, it'll make it three years. Really? May, yeah. The end of May is when I started. Well, you know the month that I started? Yeah. Um, no, I'm not really too sure. But I think this was like... June? July, 2020? Well, not even a year. Not even a full year yet. That's crazy. Because I started the same time I started talking to Wes's face. Mm -hmm. So that was like really hard. So I started dancing in 2018. Um, it was the end of May. So yeah, your girl was in a relationship. And <laughs> so it's been three years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just in three years. So so basically I was in a relationship. A very toxic, bad relationship. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy like talking about it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um yeah, so there was a lot of infidelity in throughout the relationship, but that particular time, you know, I had found out some things and um damn how honest should I be? I was just about to say something. <laughs> I started dancing in the towards the end of May in 2018. Um, I was in a relationship, a very toxic one, a lot of infidelity in the relationship. And then I, at that time, I had a close, close friend. Yeah. So what had happened was <laughs> I had found out that he cheated on me in my place with someone who I knew and had some type of ties, very, very close, close ties. Um, you guys used to be friends. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't want to say that? Uh-huh, do you want to say that? You didn't want to say that? Mm-mm, because I thought we were friends. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? Like, it was more like, I mean, I guess maybe at one point maybe we, we were, but, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Well, it had happened on multiple occasions. Um, I hadn't found out until, like, months later, maybe, like, three months later. Um, so yeah, I basically I went to his phone, seeing that they were like talking, and I mean he knew that that person at one point was very very close to me. Yeah, so then I found out basically he got a message stating a whole bunch of shit about how like she knew how I, my place looks, so what color this was, like she just gave very very explicit details and stuff like that. So I brought it forth to light. Things had happened from that. So then I decided to just leave. 
So I left and I went to this friend that I was my best friend at that time. And so I ended up going to her house and staying there, leaving my own place, <laughs> leaving him there. And then, um, yeah, so I was there. So this girl, your friends for maybe like four years. I knew that she had danced. But I just, I honestly believe I judged her. I did at first. For dancing? Yeah, for dancing. I really did. Basically, she just was, she just told me, she was like, you know what? Like, I did not want to go back to my house and like things just were not looking up financially. So she was just like, you should come work with me. And she was dancing. I'm like a dancer, a stripper. I didn't say dancer, I said a stripper. Mm -hmm. I would never be a stripper. <laughs> I'm like, I could never do that. And then my brother was um, staying, not my blood brother, but my brother was basically staying at her house at the time. So I remember we were just downstairs in the garage, we were just smoking mm -hmm. and we we're just talking about it. I'm asking all these questions. I'm like, so like, what is it like? I'm confused. She's like, I mean, like you do have to like show your, you know, your your titties, but I'm like, I gotta show my titties. I'm like, oh my gosh, fuck no, hell no. Hell no. no. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna show my titties. I'm like, she's like, yeah, I did it on stage, like on your second song. I'm like, my second song on stage. stage. <laughs> what is that? What are you talking about? And she's like, so I don't know. She's like, sometimes you can't escape it, but like normally on your second song, I'm just like. She's talking about how I have to give dances. And she was telling me straight up like how it was. I'm like, scared, right? So scared. I was like, oh my gosh. But then I ended up getting convinced and it was a Saturday night. And that was the day she presented it to me. And that's it. the night I went with her to work. And so when did you like get your dancing shoes and you did all of that the same day? No, she just let me wear her stuff, literally. I remember I didn't want to put on that much makeup, so I didn't really wear makeup like that. Yeah, and, yeah, and she, she was just like, no, like you really need to. And then the, the guy that hired me ended up um, being like, yeah, you should go back there and put some more makeup on. I was like, oh, what? Damn. Wow. <laughs> okay. It's crazy because in that area, all the clubs denied me because it was Saturday night. Right. You know and then, mean? yeah, and then we went back to the, uh, the first club we tried out, and he just charges like $100 for me to work. And then, Anywhere. Yeah, usually clubs don't hire you on the weekend. So what about you? Well, that's it. But that's crazy that someone that you're not friends with anymore is the reason why you started dancing because that's the same thing with me. Like, I had this friend. I met her at a lounge. It was like a, a hookah lounge. I mean hookah and then sometimes I sat like in the front. And I met her there. She got fired before me, but we kept contact before she left. And she told me about the fact that she was dancing. She was like, she called me one time, she was sitting in her car and she was like, girl, I'm like, no way. She was like, she literally went like this and I was like, no way, you're not doing that. She was like, girl, yes, I'm sitting in my car right now. Something was messed up in her car, so it was like raining on her. She was like showing me and I'm like, oh my gosh. She was like, yeah, girl, I can't do this anymore. I need to dance. And she was trying to convince me and I was just like, yeah, I was like, hell no. Yeah. Hell no. I'm not about to start dancing. I'm not one of them. Yeah. Yes, that's how I felt. I was like, I was like so against it. And then later on that day, the same club that, the same lounge that fired her that I was working at, they fired me like for no reason. Mm -hmm. Like they literally just texted me and was like, where are you go? And I'm like, what? And it was just so crazy because it's like she just called me talking about she's dancing and she, she never called me. Never that like, we would just text and that was really rare. So it just was like meant to happen. So then I was like, damn, I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I went in my car and it was raining and I drove to the sex store and I bought outfits and I'm like, look, I just spent my last, like I have to do it now. So I think like the next day I met her at the club and she introduced me to her manager or whatever and they hired me like right away on the spot. but. They told me to come back and when I went back, I had to do it and I was just like, oh my God, like, am I really about to do this? Like, I'm in the locker room looking at these girls who have been there forever. Yeah. So they walking around pussy out and I'm feeling like I gotta go to the bathroom and change in the <laughs> stall. Cause I was just that nervous. Yeah. Like, oh my God. And the first night was just so crazy cause I ha I'm so shy and I had to get on stage and I'm like, everybody's looking at me. Like, why is everybody looking at me? <laughs> 
And then the second song I kept my top on and the guy like the bouncer came and he was like, like oh, yeah, me too. He was like, I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> do I really have to do this? I just felt so humiliated. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, every day after that I had to drink. I had to drink before I worked. Damn. Cause I was a newbie and it was just so new to me being a shy girl, having to talk to men, different men. Do you don't really want to talk to. It just was like I'm on the walk in. Yo, yeah, listen, I'm surprised like when I first heard that I could not drink and I didn't really have the urge to, I was surprised like, just cause I never drank like that. You know what I mean? But then once I could and I was introduced to that, it was over. <laughs> it was over. It was over. But no, yeah, like I did not take off my top two, and I'm pretty sure I can imagine the same bouncer just right at the same club. Oh wow! Yeah. You started at the same mm -hmm. club, our first club. Yeah, and that's so crazy. We didn't start at the same time, but yeah, and I didn't meet her at the club that I started at. Yeah, but yeah, you. Was... It yeah, was like got... a tall, mm -hmm, tall. Yep, same guy. Yep. Dumb big. Dumb big. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's like, damn, I want to see the cheeks. Yeah, he wanted to see those goddamn boobs. <laughs> and then the, I, I remember going home and I felt so like, I was like, oh, dirty. I remember doing my first dance. Uh, How was, was that for you? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> How was that for you? I felt dirty. For me, like, I was like, what? Like, did you feel like you knew, like, what to do? I didn't feel like I knew what to do. I mean, I was seeing everyone else. I was like, so this is what it is. Okay. Yeah, I see too. So yeah. I was just looking at everybody else like, okay, put the leg up. All right. Just nail down on him, but not too much. And then you can't straddle. Yeah. So, like, you can't put, like, your whole body on top of them. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to have, you have to keep one foot on the floor at all times. So I'm just watching girls and paying attention. And I just was, like, trying to copy them, but... It was just so, so nerve-wracking. What about you, like, first? Might not realize, I mean, know exactly which situation it was, but what about your first, like, weird customer? Or realizing how weird men are? Oh. Hmm. Or can be, I should say. Cause I don't say you know, I realized that they were weird as hell in the dance room because they're like sticking their tongue out at your nipples, like you're backing up from them. Yeah, and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> mad annoying. Like, and you're backing up, and they know you're backing up. Yeah, and they're so creepy. They're like, <laughs> at one time, some guy he licked, he caught my nipple. I was trying to back up from him, and he caught it. And I was just so done with him after that. Like, I was like, all right, give me my money. I'm gonna go to the locker room because. His breath stank, and then my nipples stunk because he <laughs> caught my nipple. I was so tight. Oh my god! I was like, I was like, I'm never dancing with him again. I went back and I went back there. Got soap and water, and I was going like, yeah, like ew. That's when I realized that men are just weird as hell, weird and creepy. I knew like what took me overboard was when I had. It was a busy, busy night. And like that's when like the dance room, you know, the dance room be having like long lines when it's busy. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. So I was standing in line with this guy, and then I got caught on stage. I went to one stage. We were in line. He's like, no, it's okay. Actually, I prefer that better. I prefer that better. I'm like, no, I'm real sweaty. You know what I mean? He's like, no, I want that. <laughs> I want that. I had a man say that before. And then I went, literally like the whole dance was like all over me, just like <sighs> rubbing in the sweat all over him, like dr drastically, like. Like, people are looking, sir. Ew. Like, he was just, oh, like, losing it as lotion. I've never. It was so disgusting. I was so sweaty. Oh, my goodness. I was like, no. And, like, when you need, like, feed people. Oh, my God. Did I ever meet a foot person? Have you? I don't, I don't think so. I always get guys that be like, oh, you have pretty feet, but... I never had a guy on some like rubbing it. And oh, I, I've had a lot. I've had like yeah, especially at that club. Really? A lot. But you know, just now when you was like, cause they do be having lines, and I forgot all about that. Mm -hmm. 
None of the other clubs have lines, no. No, because it's just because it's, it's so small. Mm -hmm. Like, at least at, you know, mm -hmm. you can make room, fit mm -hmm. in, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, even like... There is literally just chair, 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 chair. chair, chair. chair. Yeah, nobody face things the next to me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. So creepy. But I... It's funny, like, everything happened for a reason because the person who introduced me to the club is like, once I got comfortable, we stopped being friends. So it's like, I literally feel like I met her so she can introduce me to that life. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. And for me, I feel the same way. But I'm like, damn, I was friends with someone that I was not supposed to be friends with for so long. Mm -hmm. And the real reason was because this person was going to, because it couldn't have been anyone else, really. No way. Yeah, it couldn't have been anyone Nobody else. Nobody else would have yeah. me that, brought that to mind. Like, yeah, no, and it could have not been anyone else, literally. <laughs> okay, sorry guys, the camera had stopped. I don't know why, but. But yeah, um, I was saying, everyone that you meet, like, you meet for a reason. Because that girl introduced me to that life, and. Nobody else that I know would have been offering me that to dance. Yeah, like, no one. Nobody. Nobody else. So how but do you yeah. feel now? Like now that you're three years later, like you're comfortable? Do you still get shy moments like when you first started? No, I feel like it turned into a boss. Seriously. Like it really, really did. Like everything is there's a um an algorithm to everything, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You just have to learn that algorithm and go know what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, I detach myself from the club. Like, I know what it is. I don't have um, ignorant thoughts about it. You know what I mean? Oh, right. So that's that's good too because you said like you were so against it, and so was I. But once you start working in the club, you realize that it's not what everybody thinks it is. Like girls, people period judge strippers a lot, but a lot, a lot. It's not once you once you get in, or if you're someone who goes to the club and you actually talk to the different girls, you realize that they're not everybody in the club that's working is not all the same. Some people just really they need to do that because they have real life things going on, and that's just a quick way to make money. Let me chime in on that. Another thing with that. Not everyone that works in the strip club is a hoe. Right, is what I'm saying. There's bitches that are RNs that I know right. that have fucked their way and fucked everyone mm -hmm. in this county. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Nurses, people, like, it doesn't matter. You can be a, it doesn't matter. People, mm -hmm. that doesn't matter. What you do does not define your character. Your character is what defines your character. And I've met guys that have told me they know strippers who are harder to get than like girls with like innocent jobs like you know like yeah the strippers be not saying all because mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> baby because baby <laughs> there's some hoes up in there there are some but there's some hoes up in everywhere period exactly i like that there's some hoes up in everywhere not every girl that works in a strip club is a hoe because i dare you <laughs> <laughs> okay to try me it's a mission but not everybody in the street in the, in a strip club is a whole like it's not so i don't feel the same way that i felt when i first started what about you no same yeah i don't at all that made me also realize to you don't judge yeah don't judge people yeah. seriously because you yeah. never know everything is it's a hustle that's it you need to respect the hustle you don't have to do it it's not for everybody dancing really isn't for everybody you really gotta be strong minded to do that. Mm -hmm. Or else you will end up one of the girls who are in there doing extra. Mm -hmm. And just stuck and there forever. Mm. Seriously. Um, I started dancing like July 2020, so it's been like a year or about to be a year. Oh, I have a nice spicy question that just came to my mind. Ooh. How did the strip club? change or impact your view of just being a black woman or a woman in general too repeat that question so how did being in this trip club breaking this trip club mm -hmm. impact just you being a black woman you know what i mean 
Well, I definitely feel like and a woman in general. Yeah, I definitely know how much power that we have now from being in a strip club. We can get men to do whatever the hell we want them to do. Like we have so much power. Like guys will do so much for us women. Like we have so much pussy is power for real. And like, you don't even have to give it away. Just having one. Just having one. <laughs> period. <laughs> like just having one is just so it's power in that. It definitely lets me know, like, we rule the world. I'm sorry. Girls rule the world. Women rule the world. What about you? I feel the same way, too. I can say just the only other thing, like, as a con to that, is just, like, how much people really just don't, dis don't respect you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, let's talk about this. Mm -hmm. How was it for you, or what was the process for you to find your true comfortable club i don't feel like you ever well i found my true comfortable club yeah and i thought like i have two i found different i may have like two but it still was a process to even get there why do you feel like it's like that i don't know it's just like anything else that happens in life like everything's a process you know what mm -hmm. i mean but that process showed me that like oh my gosh women rule the strip club and just the world in general but it's ran outside the strip club inside the strip club by men by men mm. yeah that shit hit huh mm. <clears throat> and it wow. is and it's so it's annoying because it's like you have some men i would say a lot honestly because i've worked a lot of strip clubs and mainly the managers normally seem to be the same like or consistently seem to be the same it's just like they have this like power thing you know what i mean they want to feel like they have power over everyone especially the girls they want to they want you to show that what they say goes you know what i mean like you really can't have a voice when it comes to certain things you gotta let them feel like they can in control all the time <clears throat> and if you're one of those females who are very strong and you're not with that very vocal very blunt very assertive like you're gonna have a problem definitely dealing with men like that mm -hmm. because they want you to just make them feel like nah he's authority mm -hmm. like, he in control you can't speak it don't matter and plus i feel like we've both had very like we've had incidences at clubs that we no longer work at and it's on some just racist shit mm -hmm. and it's like damn like you're in power mm -hmm. like what i can't even do nothing mm -hmm. you just don't like me you have certain you know it's disgusting it's really like you realize a lot being in the club so much you realize so much especially with men mm -hmm. and how they could just be so feminine like they really be so feminine in the club, mm -hmm. in the club. oh my god so serious yeah the hardest people the track so tough mm -hmm. feminine just, just showing their female tendencies mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. <coughs> How you feeling? <laughs> so, <laughs> you just ignore my question. Good shit. I'm doing good. I don't know how to put it. So, have you ever had an experience with. Pour that Taylor Pour. Pour it in a cup and drink it all up and pour that Taylor Pour. Pour that Taylor Pour. Bitch, pour me up that Taylor Pour and don't stop to pour, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow your roll there now, buddy. Goddamn. Goddamn, slow your roll down. Bitch, what do you choose? I didn't pour myself. <laughs> oh my god. Just I'm goop, 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 goop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Bitch, I'm on demon time. Straight for it. Oh my god. I don't. I just want to watch this a freeze of time. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Cheers.
To be in a real last bitch, give a fuck. By that nigga, what? Then break it back, whole five, six figures. Strikes on my ass, so you call this pussy tear. Fucking on a scamming ass bitch ass nigga, oh. yeah. Oh my gosh, Taylor, baby. 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 What you got going on right now, bruh? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, let's get back into it. Cause okay. what the hell? We don't know how to do anything. Nah. So do you feel like even though I'm trying to think how I should work this. Help there, buddy. <laughs> um, whoa, what was that? And like, what I want to say is, like, even though your views changed on dancing, would you recommend it to someone? The right person. I'm not one of those people that are just gonna be like, oh, you, you, you should dance. You should try dancing. You should like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna be like, oh, hey, yeah. Like, I gotta really know someone because it's like, if what you're already doing is doing and working for you. Do it. You know what I mean? But if someone came to you and they was like, girl, I'm down bad, baby. If that was someone come up to me, I already don't like you. Please, why the fuck you talk like that? I don't even want it. I don't know what I'll be about. I'm sorry. But, um, no, on a serious note, though, I wouldn't. I, I, I'm sorry, but it's like, I, I, that's why I said I have to know you. And I don't know nobody. So, who, I mean, oh my gosh. <laughs> but like if I was friends with someone that's different, you know what I mean? I don't have friends like that. I keep my circle small. Why is this shit dying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um we're talking about if you were to refer anyone or tell anyone about dancing. I would like never want to tell my friends that are not dancing to do it. I just wouldn't because it's you know, the money's good, fast, but it's not something that I want to do, you know? So it's like, I know that I'm doing it for a reason. I know that you have to be strong-minded. So it's just, you know, I wouldn't tell my friends to do that. Like, not saying that my friend's not strong-minded or anything, but it's just not something that I know that I really want to do for real. So why would I recommend it to someone, you know? I feel like I don't really have friends to recommend, so... But even if they weren't a friend and it was just someone I just met randomly, yeah, like random somebody that know. commented on this video and said, you know, their story and asked, would I recommend them to dance? I would not. No. It's not for everybody. I feel like with my platform, how it is right now, I feel like I can't say that. In reality, of course, it's like I wouldn't really want anyone to, because it's like... I'm doing it, but it's like I want to do it. 
I don't want to do it. I'm ready for it to be over. You know, right, what I mean? right. So that's where I, I'm coming from when I when I switch to that. But it's like when you have a platform and stuff like that. It's like all I can do is kind of help. But some people come and it's just like, well, you know, if you want to do it, like just know this, know that, just know what you're doing before you do it, and just don't make sure you're doing it from the right place and that you know you're not doing it for the hype. Right, like make sure you have a goal. That's like the main thing like you just have to make sure you have a goal because i feel like if you don't have a goal you'll be doing it forever like don't get into it and think oh fast money yeah if you're doing it for fast money don't don't do it blowing your money mad quick getting crabs and lobster and steak thinking oh i'm gonna make it back like don't do it for that like have a call save your money yeah okay <laughs> no <laughs> yeah. Yeah. i don't feel like Crabs, lobster. Yeah, I like to go before second. I don't know why. It's not like you got before second. Oh my god. Are you okay? Nigga said crabs, lobster. <laughs> no. No, this is not that one. This is this was you. This was you. Oh, this was you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> this was you. No, please. You said because really like like it don't do it for fast money like because bitches really be bitches really be you know getting money like oh this is fast money you know I'm over here crabs lobsters oysters. It's the one for me. It is the one for you. Yeah. Oh shit, dog. But okay, you go ahead and continue while I do this. <clears throat> oh, so what are we talking about? <gasps> Why is it singing again? Oh man. Here, you want to do this? What was we talking about? She was talking about crabs. <laughs> Lobster. Yeah, sorry guys, so they came my dad again. <laughs> Once again, but um, yeah, that shit was brazy, but um. <laughs> but anyways, so basically we were just, you were just saying, obviously you just wouldn't really remember anything. But oh, yeah, I definitely wouldn't let tell anyone like, yeah, girl, go scrap. Like, I wouldn't do that. If someone came to me and told me that they wanted to do that, then it's like, okay, you know, yeah, try it out, you know? But I'm never gonna tell someone, like, yeah, girl, go ahead and try to work in a movie club. Never. Yeah. Well, that looked dope in there. That's fire. Right? Hey. Hey. Drink that shit and smoke that shit. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> um, but basically, yeah, I mean, I agree because it's like, you know, like I'm dancing. It's not that I want to dance. It's not that I don't like, I don't like dancing. I, through it, it's taught me that I've, I know that I have a love for dancing in general. It taught me a lot about myself. Um, dancing has taught me how to be more comfortable with my body, loving my body even more, me too. Um, being more sensual, me too. not sexual, sensual. You know what I mean? Being comfortable with myself. And it honestly, it definitely boosted my confidence. Not like I was insecure, I was anything like that, but it definitely boosted my confidence. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's pro pros and cons to it, but. Um, just like with any, anything. Yeah. But just really think about it. Because there's definitely yeah. other ways to come up and to get fast money. Right. You know, like you definitely have to be very strong minded because, you know, you deal with a lot of different kind of people, different kind of men. It's different kind of disrespect from men. Like and men women just, too that oh. don't have your best interests at heart at all. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's another video, okay? Ooh, for another day. Yeah. My mind went straight somewhere when you said that. Mm -hmm. Same. But, guys, 
we're gonna wrap it up because my camera keeps on dying but we're gonna come with you with more of these girl talk videos if you guys want to and if you guys like the video please like and subscribe and comment below any topics that you want us to do also make sure that you follow miss shy monet and subscribe to her youtube channel and it is shy monet we're gonna put it Zambalang. In the description box. Okay. Also, we are swearing and supporting oh. two black owned businesses. Let's get into it. You go first. So, this is actually my friend Nigel's clothing business brand. It's called Black Bag Clothing. As you can see, mm -hmm. he actually sketches it, draws it himself, and like puts it on the Sure. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe to that. That will be linked in the description as well. What is this? What you got on? This cute or whatever. Oh, it's another black owned business. This is Old Beach Cosmetics. They have amazing eyeshadow palettes, lipsticks, all that. So I will also link them in the description below too. Oh, Beach? Awesome. Yeah, Old Beach. Oh, it's Beach. for real. I'm going to link them. They have awesome <laughs> highlighters too. Very pigmented, high Ooh, quality. Okay. Awesome that. Okay. Okay, guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe and do all that. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, that's the nails for me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's you. Excuse me, miss. <laughs> I saw you from across the room, and I gotta admit that you got my attention. You're making me want to say, yeah. I know you're seeing me, but excuse me, miss. I saw you the last dance for you. I want to keep you here with me, oh huh, baby. And then you grab up on my hands. And let's pretend the four times. You say you don't really dance. Don't worry about it, it's just one, two step. One, two step. And it's a music, it's a music, it's a music. Grab my hand. <laughs> Yo, look what you made me do, you weirdo. Don't be afraid to move a little closer. Cause there's something about you that makes me want to stay. Yeah. Yeah. Is he just singing to me? Nah, did he really? <laughs> Were you were you singing with me? Loki, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs>